Okay, so uh, good morning. Uh, I'm Georgia Petri, and today I'm going to be presenting um, my research on three dimensional knitted sensor to detect body movement. Uh, so here is an overview of the presentation. I will give a brief introduction uh, to my research, giving an overview uh, of the project, and I will talk about the step that led us to the first prototype uh, and finally the plan for the future step. So first, uh, uh, just uh, as an introduction, uh, the focus of the research uh, is folded textile sensors to detect body movement uh, using a non-tight uh, tight fitting. And the field of application is the uh, performative uh, music field. So looking at the project and the concept, uh, in the literature of um, uh, wearable sensors uh, for collecting data from the movements, uh, whether using commercially available materials or self-made um, textile sensors, one limitation is the dependency uh, of uh, sensor performance uh, on garment fit. So this means that uh, most of the projects are using a tight fit. Uh, so in this context, we ask whether body movement can be measured uh, with stretch sensors that differ from the classical tight fit uh, design approach, and that's whether the sensors can be uh, designed to experiment with more voluminous shapes uh, without, uh, of course, compromising the accuracy of the, of the data. We therefore identified the fold as the main element for the development of the sculptural costume and for the detection uh, of the body movement. Uh, so in the classical tight fit approach, folds are seen uh, as a problem because they create noise in data collection. And, uh, but yeah, with almost uh, all the body movements, we uh, generate folds in the fabric uh, uh, we are wearing. So we therefore decided to use the fold to collect information uh, on the movement of the body. Furthermore, uh, folding helps us to uh, create shapes and structure that allow us to uh, look at the body that is not standardized in uh, shapes and sides. So here you can see some of the techniques uh, uh, I look at. So first, uh, um, the pleating with uh, paper molds, uh, then smoking and uh, vacuum forming. Uh, but all these techniques take time to make the shapes, and when the fabric uh, is folded, the sensor parts need to be applied. Uh, so in the end, we decided to use the knitting technique uh, because it allows us to uh, include conductive uh, and resistive yarn in the sample making process. Uh, so at the same time, we uh, create the sensor and we create also the, the shapes. So here you can see several examples of the knitting sensors. I started with a um, manual knitting machine. Uh, then I made some experiment in uh, Milan at the Polytechnico, so with the Shima uh, electronic knitting machine, uh, so in uh, the second picture. And then um, um, I had the possibility to collaborate with the researcher and designer Sophie Skax from Queen Mary University in London, who also helped me to uh, make the first prototype uh, of the interactive costume. And now uh, let's see the, pro the, the, the project. So. I will uh, briefly present the um, first prototype, uh, which is called uh, Piega Cayenne. Uh, so thanks to Sophie Skak's skills uh, with the knitting machine, after trying out different shapes, we selected a single shape, a single shape for all the sensors, uh, uh, which is the, um, uh, the picture yeah, on the top. Um, so um, uh, the, the, the structure is a modified structure that creates different rolling direction that form a fold, uh, that form then uh, in the end the fold. Uh, so this basic structure is called Mira Milano rib. The sensing part consists of one core of conductive yarn followed by an area of knit structure with pressure sensitive yarn. And to close off the sensor, another course of conductive yarn uh, is knitted. Uh, so uh, these conductive stripes are then connected to the circuit. The sensors uh, uh, working consist of the opening and closing of the fold, uh, which causes the contact and subsequent the release of the fabric loops. Uh, so the interaction is uh, uh, consists in the folding and the unfolding of the sensor. For the first prototype, we collaborated with a performer and therefore we created a, co a costume that experimented with shapes, uh, but was uh, uh, specifically uh, designed for her. 
So for knitted sensor, we're used to capture body movements, mm, body positions, uh, and here you can see uh, the, the, the position. So behind the right shoulder, right rib, uh, on the left uh, hip, and uh, behind, the, behind the neck. Um, so the um, uh, interaction consists of the, on, on the recognition of body position of the performer and the subsequent activation of different sounds. Uh, that are then modulated by the movement of the performer's body. Here you can see the four position we identified with the performer, plus the first one, which is the default position where she was just standing, um, uh, yeah, just standing, and this default position uh, helped us to have a condition where the interaction was not active. So thanks to an interactive machine learning system, it was possible to easily manage the four textile sensors and use them to recognize the four body position. So we developed an interaction with a real-time machine learning system using the visual programming language Max 8. And the system use, uh, uses data coming from the, the textile sensor to recognize the body position. And it was uh, used to create a, um, the performance that included digital sounds generated by the sensor data combined with the voice of the performer. As a framework uh, to collect uh, the data, we use the um, generic uh, wireless uh, uh, wearable IoT system architecture with Bluetooth um, connection. So as a starting point for evaluating the performance of the sensor, we decided to test just recognition with a supervised machine learning method. So we use a model for classification. Uh, here you see uh, uh, two models. Uh, so it means that we identify four positions and ask the system to learn and recognize this position by assigning labels uh, uh, to this position. Uh, so we set up a training session in this way. The performer took the chosen position and we selected using the patch in Max uh, the corresponding class label and activated the recording of the data coming from the sensor. The performer took the reached the set position and held it for 10 seconds and subsequently the uh, data recording was stopped and the performer could change the position. So we made the same process for the four position plus the default position. Um, so after the rehearsals, with the costume worn by the performer, we did an offline analysis with the recorded data sets. Uh, so given the data collected uh, and the um, early stage of uh, the evaluation of the sensor system, we decided to um, uh, use a uh, the same supervised method, specifically so the classification method to, um, yeah, um, to analyze the, the data. Uh, so to evaluate it, the knitted sensor system, um, yeah, we choose the random forest algorithm. And the data set uh, used was um, uh, comprised uh, from um, each class approximately uh, 600 samples from each of the four sensors. Uh, so here you can see some of the results. Uh, mm, uh, of the analysis performed offline. So the five line represented the five position uh, that the performer um, uh, executed. And we have printed out the table of the performance of the learning algorithm. And we can look at the uh, F1 column, uh, which represents the accuracy of the classifier and classifying the values of the class uh, against all the other classes. So after the first study, we expected this excellent performance because uh, um, the good response of the system is mainly due to the um, data collection system. So since we recorded just the data when the uh, performer was in the exact position and then we stopped, we expected these like, excellent uh, results. Uh, we know that this is a preliminary study and more studies are needed to be able to generalize, but we are confident that we can develop a robust sensor system that uses uh, the fold as the main element to generate data for body movement uh, recognition. So further studies will be uh, conducted with the int intention of testing uh, more sensor to cover um, like the entire body or more part of the body and to experiment with more voluminous shapes uh, to emphasize the shapes uh, beyond the standardized body. So it goes like a bit more further with the shapes. And in addition, uh, different and more complex uh, position will be tested in order to have an evaluation of the developed system even under non-optimal condition as we uh, tested uh, for like the first, um, the first prototype. So I finish.